What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to do kind of like a life update video along with pretty much getting my hair set for the night because I need it to be popping tomorrow for what I have going on. So we're just gonna chat a little bit and I'm gonna twist up my hair. I just thought it'd be interesting to combine the two. It's kind of like a get ready with me except for I'm not getting ready for anything but bedtime. You know, if you're a naturalista or whatever, these are the products I'll be using. Just this Eden Essential Hair Refresher. It's actually for hair and body, which is pretty lit. And then I also use this Maui Moisture Curl Smoothie. It makes my curls so freaking soft and manageable. So anywho, how have you guys been doing? It's been, what the fuck? It's been a while and I am recording from my bathroom, which I don't do that often. I miss you guys, I really do. I feel like I have a lot going on when it comes to life. That's just what it is. Adulting at its finest, friendships, relationships, all that jazz. I'm just working through it one day at a time. But the big thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is my trip to Seattle, which is coming up, not this weekend coming up, but the following weekend. And I'm a little nervous about it, you guys. And the reason I'm nervous about it is because it's my very first solo trip. So I don't know if there are many people out there who watch my videos who have traveled alone. So I'm just doing a short weekend trip to Seattle. I'm staying in an Airbnb because the hotels are way too expensive. The couple that I'm staying with, they actually travel as well, which I thought was pretty cool to, you know, that they open their home up to other travelers. So that's pretty legit. And they have our freaking cute ass dog. And that was like in the description for the Airbnb. I was like, yo, sign me up for that dog. So I'm excited, but I'm super nervous just because I'm gonna be by myself. I've traveled alone to places and met up with people, but I've never been alone for like a duration of a trip, which will be early Friday, I fly out and then fly back late Sunday evening. So it's definitely gonna be different, but I think it'll be fine. It's just a little nervousness on my part because this is, you know, you get nervous the first time you, you do something that's not very familiar to you. So I think it's okay that I'm nervous. I think if I wasn't nervous, it would be a little strange. I will be, you know, documenting the entire trip, vlog worthy. I'll be Snapchatting. Make sure you guys follow me at Baby 620 And I'm excited about that. Have you guys taken any solo trips before? If so, where have you gone? What did you do? Or if you have been to Seattle before, if you have some suggestions for me, that would be really, really nice to throw my way because I've just been doing a lot of research online. I'm excited to see what Seattle definitely has to offer. Other than that, I guess work has been good. We've been very busy, but then everything started to slow down. Our census has been pretty low lately. We're getting those babies out of there, which I think is awesome. Shout out to the NICU crew. What else? I've just been doing a lot of planning for this channel. So I make a year on YouTube September 24th. And my goal, you know, back in the day, was to reach a thousand subscribers by my one year. Obviously that's not gonna happen, but we're actually almost at the halfway mark. So I don't know if you follow me on Twitter or not, I posed the question if YouTube had a glitch, which I still think that shit might be glitching, but I wondered if they had a glitch a few days ago because I literally went from 400 and like two subscribers to like 434. Like I looked at that shit like, did YouTube mess up somewhere? Like what happened? It hasn't changed. So maybe it'll glitch again and it'll go back to the low 400s or whatever the case might be. But either way, I'm very proud of how far the channel has come. I'm excited to see the growth that will continue. I've got some hardcore supporters behind me and a lot of people who, you know, believe in what I'm doing and are rocking with me 100%, especially Ryan. She's been so helpful as I have moments where I don't want to do YouTube anymore. I think that YouTube, and it's not just because like I'm not getting, you know, a million thousand subscribers and I'm not making money off of that shit. That's not it at all. But sometimes it's discouraging to put something out there that you know has quality to it and it's barely viewed by anyone. You know what I'm saying? So I think that 
part right there is discouraging for me. Also, to make it known, um, you know, people really like life-changing events. So, people getting engaged, people having babies, people moving to the opposite side of the country. People like things like that. It gravitates people toward their page, and I'm not doing any of that. I'm not getting married, I'm not having any babies, I'm not moving anywhere. Travel vlogs, my rants, my challenges. Those are the things that I like doing and sometimes it just doesn't get across to people the way that other videos may. Family vloggers, they out here killing the game. People like to see families on camera. That's just the dynamic of this world and how shit goes. So I'm excited for the new changes that are happening and the things that I plan to do with this channel. Hoping I can do a lot more collab. I'm interested in going to three videos a week, but I also wanna make sure that the videos don't go unnoticed. They say more content brings in more people. Yeah, I mean, I guess in some ways it does, but then in other ways it doesn't. I've seen people post videos once a month and get, you know, increase in subscribers without even posting anything. So I think it's just one of those things that it works for some people and it doesn't work for other people. Everyone's journey is not the same. It's gonna be different regardless, and you know, and it's sometimes it's hard to stay focused on the things that you wanna achieve and accomplish for your channel when you see other people kind of passing you by. And I know someone out there can relate to that, but it's just a grind that we gotta keep on with and I really do love making videos for you guys and I know my hair brother looks so crazy but I really do love making videos for you guys I love editing I definitely want to upgrade and get a new camera a DSLR next year that's what I want to add to my channel equipment for the most part so it's just small things here and there that I'm trying to do to better myself better the channel make the quality more amazing for you all, you know, bring in new subscribers. So, I feel like I was gonna have enough to talk about for this whole hair, but I'm not gonna do y'all like that. Like, that's just rude because right now, I don't really have much else to talk about. I'm gonna finish twisting up this hair and just stay patient with me. I promise big things are coming, they're happening, changes are being made, it's gonna be lit. And if you guys are rocking with me, then is, is about to get real. If you guys like this little chit chat, nighttime hair routine, fail video, then make sure you guys subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what's been going on with you guys' life. Follow me on social media for sure. I think the battery's about to die. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.